Welcome back to another college football video in which today we are here at Kyle Field. It'll be Notre Dame versus Texas A&M. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be in this week one matchup. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. So let's see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Texas A&M will get the ball to start off the game and here on first and 10 on the first play of the game they work the left side of the field as the ball is completed to number three. That was a great throw by Connor Wiegman and let me know in the comments below how do you guys think he will do this year? Do you guys think he will be a top 10 quarterback in college or not? Let me know in the comments below. And the AM offense are looking to go no huddle and speed up the process as they start at the 40 yard line. Wigman looks at the signals on the sideline and hands it off to the running back who is met in the backfield and brings up a second and 14. Here on second and 14, Wigman hands it off to the running back who works the left side of the field, gets some huge blocks, and has lots of green in front of him as number eight. Comes up with a huge yard to gain, bringing it up all the way to the Notre Dame 37 yard line. Here on second and nine, Connor Wigman works the middle of the field and completes it to his tight end, number 18, who has knots of yardage to get the first down, and it is completed to Green. Here on second and three, Wigman hands it off to the running back, number two who just forces his way down the middle of the field and takes it all the way to the 9-yard line, setting up for a Texas A&M first and goal. Here on third and goal, Wigman has time in the pocket and works the middle of the field to find a wide-open receiver in number 7, and he salutes to the end zone as the A&M Aggies go up 7-0 at the end of the first quarter. And let's take a look at the replay right here to see how Moose Muhammad the third came up with a catch and he just found the open spot between two defenders and made it easy for Wiegman to throw the ball to him and here we got Kyle Field being loud on the stadium false meter and here on third and seven Riley Leonard completes it over the middle to his receiver number 10 here on third and six, Riley Leonard quickly gets the ball off down the middle of the field as he completes it over the seam to his receiver once again, number 10. And we have the Irish mascot celebrating that first down with just under two minutes to go here in the first half. And right here on the next play, Riley Leonard steps back in the pocket and works the right side of the field as he finds a wide open tight end number 88 for the first down taking it in the red zone at the 17 yard line and let's take a look at the replay right there as Leonard had a nice clean pocket and number 88 found the open space in the field here on third and five Kyle Field is electric as the stadium pulse goes all the way up but Riley Leonard escapes out of the pocket and runs his way into the end zone celebrating eating up the Texas A&M defense and that is a defense that Mike Elko's not happy about on that play and Kyle Field falls silent as that play looked to be killed from the beginning but Riley Leonard does a great job to escape out of the pocket on the left hand side and take the ball himself finding the open space on the field and getting the Notre Dame Irish on the board as we are all tied up at 7 with 44 seconds left here in the first half. And here on first and 10, Connor Wiegman on this drive tries to work it on the left side of the field, but the corner undercuts the route and comes up with the interception. And that is number 0 that comes up with the ball, and Wiegman would love to have that pass back. And this sets up the Irish in very good field goal territory at the 22 yard line and that was Xavier Watts that comes up with that turnover and Wiegman 
should have thrown it over the top of the defender. Here on first and 10, Riley Leonard has time in the pocket and will escape out of it on the right hand side and will take the ball himself and score his second rushing touchdown of the day as his teammates celebrate around him. And that was a mirror image of the first touchdown on the right hand side of the field. And that is some adjustment that the Aggies defense are going to have to make against this mobile quarterback Riley Leonard showcasing his legs here in the first half and that was just no defender to be found on that side of the field. The Irish get the ball to start off the second half and Riley Leonard is gonna work the right side of the field as he completes it to his receiver number 83 at the 40 yard line. Here on 3rd and 6, Riley Leonard quickly gets the ball off and completes it to his receiver for the first down. Number 83 coming up with the catch again as things are starting to get chippy down on the field. And let's take a look at the replay right there as he found the soft spot in the coverage to come up with the catch. Here on 1st and 10, Riley Leonard has time in the pocket and works the middle of the field as he completes it to his receiver, number 10, who has three receptions for 56 yards today. And this takes it inside the red zone down to the 11 yard line. And let me know in the comments below, will Riley Leonard take the next step and be a solid draft pick in next year's NFL draft? Let me know in the comments below. Here on second and three, Riley Leonard has a run pass option and finds his receiver open on the left side of the field as he completes it to number 10 who gritties his way in the end zone to celebrate as the Notre Dame Fighting Irish go up 21 to 7 over the Texas A&M Aggies with 23 seconds left in the third quarter and that was Chris Mitchell that comes up with that touchdown reception and that defender was nowhere near him here on third and three, Connor Wigman has time in the pocket and works the middle of the field as he completes it to his receiver, number 18, as they move towards midfield and into Notre Dame territory. And taking a look at the replay right there, Wigman had a nice clean pocket and 18 had no defenders around him to make that catch for a first down. Here on 2nd and 10, Wigman has time in the pocket and will throw it over the middle to his receiver, number 7, who takes it all the way up to the Notre Dame 25-yard line. And on 1st and 10, Wigman has time in the pocket and works it down the seam to his receiver, who gets into the end zone. It is number 18 that comes up with the catch, and we have a game on our hands as the score is now 21 to 14 with just under two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter and let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the tight end donovan green came up with the catch and that was pretty sticky coverage by the defender but a perfect pass from weakman to catch his tight end in stride for the touchdown Notre Dame can seal the game with one more first down and they give it to their running back number four who does just that and forces A&M to take their second time out and with no time remaining Notre Dame can now go into victory formation and win the game. Notre Dame's offense goes three and out and Wiegman has just got to throw it up for a Hail Mary and try to get it into the end zone and there is a flag on the play and it looks to be pass interference by the Notre Dame defense and with that this will set up Texas A&M with one more shot to try and get it in the end zone and this is within Wigman's arm range to try and get it into the end zone but they just throw it over the middle and gain some yardage but not enough for the touchdown that they needed to keep this game going. And just like that, Notre Dame are going to defeat Texas A&M 21-14. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. 
It really helps the channel out, and I appreciate all the support. If you're a fan of college football and the NFL, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.